Hey there, I'm a DIY track guy. This is my humble garage, and today we get rid of a useless lump. The first thing to do to remove this 1.6 Miata motor from this car isn't in the engine bay, it's here in the interior. We need to pull the shifter assembly from the top of the transmission, and to do that, we need to remove the center console. Man, I love this part. So that gives us clear access to everything in here. And you'll notice I've already used green tape to label off a number of these electrical connectors, at least the ones that are accessible on the top here. But before we do anything else, let's drain the fluids, coolant, engine oil, transmission oil. So before we get any further, let's make sure we disconnect the battery. I've got a quick disconnect on the negative terminal. This is the transmission fill plug and it's a square head, not a socket. So I'm using a 9 16 wrench to crack it open. And go. Uh, look how nice this fluid is. What a waste. So we replace the plugs to make sure that they're with the transmission and we don't lose them. While we're under here, let's take a note of what needs to be disconnected later. Here's our speedometer cable. And over here we got this. And on the right side of the transmission, we got our slave cylinder. Next, let's drain the engine oil. And this drain bolt is a 19 mil. Yeah, that's looking pretty used. It's a good thing that this is a good quality synthetic oil. Now we can proceed with draining the coolant and here's our drain plug. Let's try not to get any of this coolant in our eyes. That's gonna be probably blindness. Now let's work on the upper rad hose. Next, let's disconnect this coolant overflow reservoir hose. There we go. Spray coolant everywhere. All right, let's disconnect the rad fan. And down here, let's get the ground wires. Next up on our quest to remove the rad is to get rid of this cooling plate of my own design. It looks pretty crappy, but whatever. Now let's remove these two NB upper rad support brackets. Now with nothing holding this in, we should be able to just slide this guy straight up and out. but this intake pipe is in the way. Take two, and with that out of the way, this thing should lift right out. Now's the time to remove the sway bar. To see when I installed this sway bar and this adjustable end link, click this video here. If I was running the stock sway bars, this would be as easy as zipping off the two bolts on the bottom that hold the bracket onto the chassis. But you may notice that up here, I have an R-Theory Motorsports sway bar reinforcement block. So we'll need to remove that first. Let's go ahead and get rid of the MAF and air filter. And first we'll need to disconnect this wiring. Note that there's a clip here that we need to separate before we can pull this out. And that gives us clear access to the lower rad hose, which we'll remove now. While we're here, let's get rid of this superfluous bracket. Let's continue removing things from the cooling system. These are the heater core hoses. The inboard one's the inlet, the outboard is the outlet.
All right, let's continue getting rid of the rest of the intake. And now's the enjoyable task of removing as many of these electrical connectors as we can find. And we'll start with the easy ones. Those the injectors. Go to sensor, CAS, ignition distribution block thing. And then you can't see it, but hidden down here are a few grounds. Since we're over here, let's disconnect the throttle cable. This may be hard for you to see, but there's an electrical connector on the alternator and a post with a nut on it that we're gonna need to remove. Deeply recessed in here, underneath the intake manifold and beside the oil filter is the oil temperature sender, which goes to the gauge on the dash. Also underneath the intake manifold is the starter motor and I've already disconnected the trigger wire and now I need to undo the main powered wire there. There used to be a boot over it, but it's 30 years old, so it disintegrated as soon as I touched it. Here's the power terminal that went to the starter motor and if we follow the wiring harness back, we'll notice that there's a zip tie on a bracket back here. That'll definitely interfere when we're trying to remove the engine, so I'm just gonna cut that off with a side cutter. This is the water temperature sensor that goes to the ECU, and just to the right of it is the water temperature sender that goes to the dash gauge. So we'll disconnect both of those. Now it's time for each of the four injectors. And while we're over here, let's not forget to disconnect this vent hose that goes from the intake manifold. The next order of business is to disconnect the power steering and we're gonna undo these hoses. Now you probably already noticed that this line is loose because I was able to get this off with a 22 inch line wrench. Next, let's disconnect these hoses from the reservoir. Right, and then this is a 12 millimeter bolt holding this line into place. And while we're over here, let's get rid of the power steering reservoir. It's just held to the frame by two 10 millimeter bolts. Now let's disconnect the fuel hoses. There's two of them that come up through hard lines on the right side of the engine bay here. And a quick note, I opened the gas cap on the uh, fuel tank to release the pressure. There we go. So we've gotten to the point here where I needed to call in the big guns and you'll remember Jesse <laughs> from the electric power steering episode here. And he's gonna help with the last part of this engine removal process the exhaust, transmission, PPF, all that good stuff. So we're gonna put him to work right now. <laughs> so one of the things we need to do here is to remove the exhaust. So Jesse is undoing all the hangers so that we can drop this thing and get it out of here. While Jesse's manhandling the exhaust to get it off, let's remove the clutch slave cylinder back there. I got a video where I installed this thing. Check it out up here. Yay! Drive shaft out. Yeah. 
So there we have it. We've successfully removed this motor from that Miata, but the big question you probably have is what's going into this now? You're awesome. I'm useless. Thanks for watching.